guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm doing part one of my custom LEGO Game of Thrones minifigures. Now, over the years, I've been getting a lot of requests to do Game of Thrones minifigures. I never got around to it just because I never watched the show and I didn't have HBO to actually watch it. But with college, I get HBO Go for free. So this year, I decided to sit down and give all seven seasons a chance. And holy cow, man, dude, I fell in love with the show. I binged all seven seasons within like a few weeks of each other, and it was just insane. So I decided to make some custom minifigures from the show. I don't know how many parts I'll be doing, uh, but for right now I have at least three parts planned out uh, that I actually want to get to. So if you guys are interested in seeing me make a certain character, just stay till the end of the video and I'll get into whatever characters I want to make uh, towards the end. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a close-up look on Arya, Jon, Ned, and Rob from Game of Thrones. You think my life is some precious thing to me? As I would trade my honor for a few more years of what of war. But I grew up with soldiers. I learned how to die a long time ago. So we're going to start off this very Stark themed episode with Ned Stark. Now in Game of Thrones, I feel like Ned Stark is the character I relate to the most, so he's definitely one of my favorites. Him and Jorah are like my top two, and then I gotta love the Hound as a very close third. Uh, but anyway, Ned was the first figure I made for Game of Thrones. I made him back in December, I think. Um, but he was the first one I made, and he's probably one of the more simple ones that I've made so far. There's just a lot of sculpting on this guy. So getting into it, uh, he's got a sculpted tunic for that Stark armor uh, from Winterfell. So that sculpt goes all the way around. That was sculpted using Procreate. Uh, it was a big pain to do all that, just to make sure everything was symmetrical uh, and I got all the shapes right. So I sculpted all that and then painted it up. Painting all of the silver buttons or whatever was just a big pain as well, uh, but it was worth it. He also does have some cloth hanging down uh, from his tunic there as well. You can see that. He's got some brown boots painted on. Uh, he's got a fabric belt that wraps all the way around that was painted up. Got some gold and some silver details on there as well. Uh, his arms are just gray with some very dark gray uh, pavement colored stitching on there for the leather looks pretty good. Uh, there's another side view of the belt there underneath his arm. Move that up a little bit, you can see that right there. Um, and then the head was just a Thor head originally, and then I repainted the beard and the eyebrows so they were darker. I reshaped them a little bit, and then I added all of the wrinkles and stuff on there to make him look more like Ned. Uh, now his hair is a Lego Friends hair, uh, so it's made out of rubber, so it's kind of hard to deal with because I had to shorten it. Uh, and Cutting rubber is just not a pleasant thing to do so it looks kind of sloppy back here and that's just because it is really hard to cut this type of rubber uh, but i shortened the hair sculpted it in some areas and then painted it up in that kind of like dark orangish brown color uh, so it looks more like ned now the sword is a brick arms claymore that was modified and painted up a little bit to look more like ice now, i know ice is a lot bigger than this but i made just made a more miniature version uh, and it looks pretty good so there's ned I would say he's pretty simple, but just sculpting and painting that tunic was just a major pain, but I really like how it came out. So there is Ned Stark. Tell Lord Tywin, winter is coming for him. 20,000 northerners marching south to find out if he really does shit gold. Next up is Rob Stark in his King of the North look. Now, when I was going to make Rob, I originally wanted to make him in his red wedding attire, and then I was like, no, nah, I'll just make him in his Winterfell look. But then I was like, after I made Jon and Arya, I thought that those two outfits were just way too similar to those. And I know this one's really similar to Ned, but it's different enough to where it looks cool and it stands out. Uh, and this is definitely my favorite look for Rob anyway. So I was really happy I went ahead and made him in the King of the North look. He's got a lot of sculpt on him, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So starting off, just like Ned, he has the sculpted Stark armor tunic thing. Uh, now that thing was not fun to do a second time around, and I'll be doing it a third time around for King John. I'll be doing a collaboration with Delas Prime, uh, Sander, and Jerd Figs on King John. So that should be a pretty fun thing. I think that'll end up in one of my videos at some point. I'm not exactly sure yet. Uh, but yeah, King John will be coming at some point down the road. He's got that tunic sculpted on there. He's got the breastplate sculpted on to the uh, the chest there. Uh, now on the arms, he does have a sculpt on the shoulders and on the elbows. So I'll take the cape off so you guys can see just a little look at that. Um, so he's got the shoulders and the elbow uh, armor sculpted on there. And then he's got the gauntlets painted on there as well. So those look pretty cool. Um, 
Now moving on to the, uh, I don't think I mentioned the E-tape straps yet for the uh, the cloak here, just have those glued on. He's got a fabric belt as well that wraps all the way around. Uh, I've made this belt, what, three times now? Yeah, for John, Ned, and Rob, I've made the same belt pretty much. So I'm pretty good at making those now. Um, so that looks pretty cool. He's got brown boots painted on, I forgot to mention that. Now his cloak is just a, um, a Cape Madness cape that uh, had fur already on it and I had to paint the fur uh, a brown color and then I painted it over with some different color brown and some tan. Uh, John has like the original look so you guys can see how much this is matted down compared to that one just because this one has a lot of paint on it. Uh, so that looks pretty good. The head was a Destan head from Prince of Persia I think. Uh, I can't really remember at this point but I used, I think I used that head as his base and then just painted over everything or erased everything then had to paint everything else. So I painted the brows um, the mouth and the beard and mustache and everything like that. And the only thing that was on the original head were the eyes. Uh, so I had to paint everything else, which looks pretty good. Then the hair is just the Superman hair painted in a reddish brown. Uh, so I think that suits Rob pretty well. The sword is just a Brick Arms Damien blade uh, with the pommel painted silver. Uh, that's not silver, gold. Uh, and then uh, the two little bits on the guard there uh, cut off. Uh, so I know it's not perfect, it's not the same exact sword that Rob uses in the show, but I think it's close enough, so it works. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be it for Rob Stark, King of the North. I am a king. I came here knowing that you could have your men behead me or your dragons burn me alive. I put my trust in you, a stranger, because I knew it was the best chance for my people, for all our people. Next up we have Jon Snow. Now, I made John in his Night's Watch attire, mainly because he wears this out for, for the majority of the series. Uh, it's pretty much just the same thing you see from Seasons 1 to Season 5. Um, so, I know I'd be making uh, King John later in the future, uh, like I said earlier in that collaboration. Uh, so, I just decided to make him in his Night's Watch outfit for my personal collection. And I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, it's pretty basic, honestly. Like, there's not too many difficult things about this guy, too many complicated things. Um, so, there's not really a lot to get into. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just pretty basic. Starting off with the legs down here, we just have some boots painted on and some really dark brown. Uh, then he has a little, uh, you can see it underneath there, that uh, cloth uh, skirt thing that wraps all the way around. And then over top that is a piece of E-tape uh, for the tunic uh, that he wears. And then over top that is a cloth belt that's painted up. Again, this is the third time I had to do this type of belt, just for same one for Rob and for Ned. Uh, so I, I'd say I'm getting pretty good at doing those. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good. This time it just has some silver buttons and stuff like that. Uh, so it's nothing uh, too fancy. Moving up on the torso, he's got some dark brown painted on there for the uh, rest of the tunic that he has. And then he's got like black stripe running down the center for the split in it. Um, and then he has a beige outline for the entire thing. You can see that down here and then up towards the top. Uh, I think you can see that just a little bit underneath there. There's like a little collar painted on there, a little strap. It's kind of hard to see. There's also another little buckle on the side right there. So you can see that painted in brown and it's got some uh, silver buttons on that. Um, and then he's got the E-tape for the straps for the cape there. Now the cape itself is just the same one that uh, Rob has, except it's not painted in any way. This is just the stock Cape Madness cape with the fur on there, so I don't have to do anything for it. So you guys can just see, if I bring Rob in here, just see how much the fur on his is matted down uh, just with the paint. So you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, back on to John here. Uh, again, it, everything so far has been pretty simple. Just the major hard part for this guy was the head and the hair. <laughs> Uh, I really wanted to get John's likeness down, and I think I did, and I gotta give a huge shout out to my buddy DeLast Prime. Now his Jon Snow is pretty much perfect, and he has like the best looking face for Jon that I've ever seen. So when I was making Jon, I, I just had, my only intention was like, I can't beat Shane, so I'm just gonna try to pretty much replicate his. And I think I did a decent job at it. I still think his is better. I don't know what it is about his that's just better than mine, but uh, I really like how this turned out. And I gotta just give a huge shout out to him for helping me out on this one. His just turned out so good. And I know he thinks that mine's better, but I still think his is better. So go give him a follow. I'll put his links down in the description if you want to go follow him on YouTube, Flickr, and Instagram. So definitely go check him out. And then I also took inspiration uh, from him for the hair. It was just a uh, one of those early 2000s female hair pieces that I had to sculpt over. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, it's got a lot of procreating stuff on there for the hair. And uh, yeah, 
that's pretty much it for John. One last thing is just Long Claw. This is just a modified Brick Arms Claymore sword. Uh, what I did is I bent the, uh, the cross guard, bent it up, snipped off the ends, kind of narrowed out the blade uh, because there's always like this big section down here that's not like flush with the blade like it's on Ned's sword here. Uh, you guys can just see that difference right there. So I cut that off, uh, bent up the, uh, the cross guard, and then I had to sculpt the wolf onto the pommel. Not my best sculpting work. I probably could have done that a lot better, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. You're not really going to see it that much, and it's there. And uh, the one Sander is making for the King John that we're all going to be working on just looks insane. Uh, so didn't really feel like competing with that. Uh, so, yeah, that is going to be it for Jon Snow. Again, I really like this guy. I think the likeness is on point with him, so hopefully you guys like him too. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. Last up is Arya Stark. Now, initially, I was going to make Arya in her Season 4 outfit, where it looks all raggedy and stuff. She's looking like a boy, basically, and she's got the short hair. But then I saw her Season 7 outfit, and I was like, nope, that's the outfit I'm going to make. And I'm really happy I did, because I really like how this figure turned out. This is her outfit from Season 7, specifically when she duels Brienne at Winterfell, just when they're having fun. And I was like, I really like that outfit, so I went ahead and made it, and I'm really, really pleased with how she turned out. Starting off with the legs, I did shorten the legs a little bit, since she is still pretty short, since she's still a kid. So if I bring in, we'll bring in Rob. Stand him up next to her. You can see that she is still shorter than uh, your typical figure. Uh, so we'll bring in, I guess, John as well, just so you guys can see that uh, she is still a little shorter than them. They're not like perfectly lined up, but you guys get the point. She's got a little shorter legs, not as short as like the actual short Lego legs. Um, those I'm planning on using for Tyrion, but they've been shortened a little bit. And uh, I think the height works really well for her. So onto the figure uh, with the shortened legs, she's got some boots painted on. She has a cloth skirt that wraps all the way around uh, and that was then painted up. Um, it's got that pattern from the shirt painted up at the top and little outlines. She also has the tassels from the, uh, uh, the strings or whatever uh, painted on there as well. She has two e-tape belts that wrap all the way around and are painted up. Her torso is actually curved on the side. Um, so that was a custom curved torso, not like an area light curved torso. I had to sand it myself. Uh, then it was then painted up, and I really like how the stitching turned out. Initially, I thought it was going to be a pain in the butt to do it, but I'm really pleased with how that turned out. It's got all that stitching that wraps all the way around the torso and onto the arms as well. So I really like how that turned out. Now the face was a uh, Star Wars Resistance Trooper face initially, like the female Resistance Trooper. But I erased everything except for the eyes and then I painted a relatively small mouth because I know Arya has pretty big eyes. So I wanted to give it the illusion that she does have big eyes, so I painted a smaller mouth just to make her face like more proportional, I guess. Um, and then I painted on the brows as well. The hair is a custom sculpt. I used a Widow's Peak hair as a base and then sculpted the back and the sides. And I think it looks really nice. Looks a lot like her hair in Season 7. Last thing for this figure is Needle, of course. This is just a modified brick arm sword. I think it's a rapier. I then uh, I painted the, uh, the the pommel and the cross guard, whatever, uh, painted that gold, and then I cut off the little guard around the handle as well. I know it's not perfect. Uh, if I wanted to put more effort into it, I could have just cut off the actual sword part here and then cut off the little bits here. And then, uh, so then I could take off this big round thing because uh, Needle doesn't have this big round thing on the sword. Uh, so I could have done that, but I just was lacking motivation to do that. So maybe if I make a season four Arya at some point, because I really do like that outfit and it would match uh, the Hound pretty well whenever I do him. Uh, so maybe I'll make a new version of Arya for then, but for now, this one is good enough and I'm really pleased with it. So hopefully you guys like Arya too. So let's go ahead and finish off this video. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Part 2 for my Game of Thrones figures will come out at some point. I'm not really sure when, if I want to do that directly next, or if I want to do my Phantom Menace figures for my Star Wars prequel series uh, next. So if you guys have any preference, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see Phantom Menace first so we can take a break from Game of Thrones, or if you just want me to keep working on Game of Thrones stuff. Part 2 for my Game of Thrones figures will have The Hound, 
Brienne, Jamie, and then either Tormund or Bronn. I'm not really sure if I want to make those last two just yet, but uh, we'll see. I feel like that's a pretty solid group of figures right there, and I'm really excited to actually work on the Hound, because he's one of my favorites as well. Uh, and then part three would have Tyrion, Daenerys, uh, Jorah, and then maybe Varys or something. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't really narrowed it down just yet. But I do want to keep making Game of Thrones stuff, so hopefully you guys are interested in this type of stuff. I know Game of Thrones isn't, like, as popular right now as it has been before, just because the season is on hiatus right now for Season 8, and that'll come out in, like, 2019 or something like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, hopefully there's a lot of interest around this. Uh, I want to keep making figures for you guys, so hopefully you guys will like them. So, again, check out the descriptions. You guys can go follow The Last Prime, since he helped me out with my Jon Snow. Uh, and then stay tuned for our King Jon collaboration, which will come later on this year. And also down in the description, you can find all my other social media accounts. So go ahead and follow me there if you haven't already. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.